Hello. Um, you guys know what's going on. We're uh, two and six coming into today's game. We got Geo going on the mound, hoping that he can win today. Um, we so far we're one and one against Boston. And this is the third game of the series. One, we won the first game convincingly. I was happy with the first game, Keuchel getting the win in that one, um, going six innings, and uh, we won that game 15 to five. Uh, the pitching overall still wasn't um, what you would want, but the offense was exactly what we wanted. But then we lost the second game to uh, Boston seven to four, and that's definitely, you don't want that, so. And again, we didn't really pitch very well in that game, and we and we only were decent hitting. So you want to see the offense come alive a little more. I mean, I like where Encarnacion is right now. He's leading our team in home runs. And uh, Madrigal uh, got his first action of the year against um, Boston, and he, um, you know, in the first two games against Boston. And uh, I liked what I saw from him. So uh, he may get some more playing time going forward, but we definitely, we got to win today. We're, like I said, we're coming in two and six. Got to win this game to at least, you know, go to three and six. Um, if there's, you know, any silver lining, it's that we're not the last place team in the division because um, the, uh, the Twins are one and eight. So we will go out there today and we'll do our best and see what happens. Hopefully we get a win and we can start to string, string some wins together and uh, get back into, you know, get for the, the first goal is to get to 500. You got to get to 500 and then move from there and work your way up the division. A lot of time left though. We've only played eight games of the season, so there's still quite a bit of time. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, here bringing you another Chicago White Sox baseball game. As you heard Bob Zolke say, and if you're a Chicago White Sox fan, you know we come into this game two and six on the season, having split so far with Boston, winning the first game of the series 15 to five, and then losing the second game seven to four. And so here we are in the rubber match, and uh, just before we go off to Seattle, um, and um, we'll have Gio Gonzalez going on the mound today, but let's go look at uh, Bob Zolke's lineup for the Chicago White Sox. You got Nick Madrigal at second base uh, today, leading off. Yoan Moncada at third base batting second, Jose Abreu at first base, Eloy Jimenez in left, Encarnacion at DH, Yasmani Grandal at catcher, Luis Robert in center, um, Mazzara in right field batting eighth, and playing shortstop today and batting ninth will be Danny Mendick since... Um, Timmy Anderson is injured, and uh, so he's on the I.L. And uh, he's expected to be on the I.L. for at least another nine days. So that's how that stacks up. Uh, the Red Sox lineup today is going to be Arias at second base, Jackie Bradley Jr. in center, Xander Bogarts at shortstop, um, J.D. Martinez in right, batting fourth, Batting fifth is going to be Rafael Devers at third base. Batting sixth, Bobby Dahlback at first. Batting seventh will be Michael Chavis, and he'll be the DH. Eighth is uh, Christian Vasquez at catcher. And batting ninth will be Alex Verdugo playing left field today for the Bobos. And so with that, let's get on with it. And uh, we'll listen to the national anthem and then we'll get underway.
let's play some ball. We've got Nick Madrigal coming up as the first batter to face Ryan Weber. And he's going to hit a, looks like a fly ball to Jackie Bradley Jr. And he should handle it out there and that'll be one down. That brings up Johan Moncada. And he hits a, he gets a hold of it and hits a single right up the middle. Right back where it came from. Jose Abreu's up. And he rips a single between short and third. And now they, the White Sox have runners at first and second with one down and Jimenez up. And Jimenez is going to take that one deep, deep gone over the green monster. And that gives the White Sox a 3-0 lead, which they really, really needed. And here comes the team leader in home runs, Encarnacion. He's going to hit a ground ball at Dahlbeck at short. And there was a wild throw on the play, and uh, that allowed Encarnacion to go to second, and Grandal is now up. And Grandal hits the ball on the ground to second. That should move Encarnacion to third, and does. And now, with two down, you got Lewis Robert up and a man 90 feet away, and he walks. So now the White Sox have runners at the corners against Weber, and Mazzara up at the plate. And he hits a ground ball to second baseman Arouz, Arroyas. I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, they made the play. Got out of the inning, but the White Sox came away with three. And Giolito, or uh, um, not Giolito, Gio Gonzalez is out there on the mound, and he strikes out Arroyas. Arouz. Jackie Bradley Jr.'s up, and he's going to, he loses Jackie Bradley on four balls, and he walks him. Bogarts comes up. Bogarts hitting the ball to Jimenez out in the left. Let's see if he can play it. And he does. He makes the catch. J.D. Martinez is up. And with two outs, he gets a two-out single right up the middle. Oh, and there's an injury. It looks like there's an injury out there, and uh, they have to... Uh, they got to go out and get a relief pitcher for him. So they will bring in Ross Detweiler. Looks like. And so Detweiler is out on the mound, finishing his, his uh, warm-up tosses. Gets as many as he needs, of course, because of the injury. And then he strikes out Devers. So it looks like this is going to end up being effectively a bullpen game for the White Sox. Danny Mendick up at the plate. And you know how manager Bob Zolke hates uh, bullpen games. Mendick hits the ball to Jackie Bradley. That's the wrong guy on the Red Sox to hit the ball to, and he makes the play. Madrigal's up, and Madrigal's going to... Hit a ground ball to arouse, arouse. I hope there's no more anything that involves him today because I can't pronounce his name. Moncada comes up, and Moncada hits the ball to Dahlbeck, and they make the play. So out goes Detweiler back on the mound. Now he just pitched in the last game, so we'll see how far he can go. Dahlbeck hits a single up the middle. Red Sox have a man on, and that's going to be a pass ball. Wild pitch. No pass ball. It gets past Grandall, and so Chavez is up. Or Chavis, Michael Chavis, and he strikes out Chavis. So the Sox have one down with a man at second, and Vasquez at the plate. And Detweiler strikes him out. Nice. Detweiler looking sharp. And to Verdugo, he gets a ground ball. He induces a ground ball. And uh, the Red Sox are out of the inning. So we have uh, Abreu leading off against Weber. 
And he hits a ground ball at Bogarts at shortstop. And Bogarts makes the play. There's one down. Eloy Jimenez up. And he hits a ground ball to Bogarts. And he makes the play. So that's two down very quickly. And Encarnacion up. And he lines out to Bogarts. Bogarts getting a lot of work this past inning here. And now the uh, Red Sox are at the plate. Detweiler's still out there. Not showing any signs of fatigue yet. He just pitched three or four innings the game before. So fly ball to Robert. That's one away. And here comes Jackie Bradley Jr., the man that was busy last inning. It's a fly ball to left, and that should be played by Jimenez, and it is. Detweiler looking really sharp right here. And then to Bogarts, he gets him to ground out to Mendick at short. So the White Sox maintain a 3-0 lead after three. We go to the top of the fourth. Grandall up. And he strikes out. Lewis Robert is up. And Lewis Robert is going to be out. And that brings up Mazzara. Nomar Mazzara. And he is going to fly out to Verdugo, it looks like. And after three and a half innings, the White Sox are maintaining their 3 0 lead. Deals to Martinez, and that looks like it's going to be a foul ball. And now he hits a fly ball to center, and that's Robert. Robert should play that. And there's one down with Devers up, and he strikes out, or he will strike out. That was a foul ball. And Dahlbeck is up at the plate with two down. And that's going to be it. Mendig makes the play and it leads off here in the top of the fifth. The White Sox still leading 3-0. And he grounds out to a rose. Madrigal's up. And Madrigal rips a single between short and third. He's at first base. Moncada's up at the plate. And Moncada walks. He draws a walk. And Weber is in trouble here. Two men on. One out. Abreu up. And Abreu hits a fly ball to Verdugo. Let's see if Verdugo can play that. And he can. It's caught. And there are two down with Jimenez at the plate. And Jimenez is going to hit his second three-run homer of the game and give the White Sox a 6-0 lead, which they, again, sorely need. And that may be it for Weber, and they do. They come out and they replace Weber with Valdez. And Encarnacion strikes out to Valdez, but not before the White Sox strike for three more. Take a 6 nothing lead. All right, and Detweiler is still out there. Of course, now, you know, even if he's tired, he's got some, uh, he's got some runs to play with. Fly ball to Mazzara. Let's see if he can play the ball. And he does. Vasquez is up with one down. He hits the ball right back up the middle to Detweiler. And he gets on. Verdugo is up. And Verdugo is going to hit a single. Right over the head of Mendick. And a Rose is going to strike out. So there's two down for the Red Sox here. And Jackie Bradley Jr. is up. 
And JBJ hits the ball to Moncada. Let's see if he can make the play. No, he makes an error instead and allows a run to come in for the Red Sox with Bogarts up. But Bogarts looks like he's going to pop out to Mendick. And he does. So the Red Sox do get a run. And error was key in allowing that run to score. But the White Sox still have a 6-1 to one lead as we go to the top of the sixth. And Grandall is up. And Grandall is out. And that brings up Lewis Robert. Lewis Robert hitting 174 on the year. And he hits a fly ball to center. Again, not the person on the field for Boston that you want to hit the ball at. And Mazar is up. And he strikes out. And it looks like Zolke's going to go to the bullpen. Zolke goes to the bullpen and gets Hewer. So Cody Hewer coming on to pitch to J.D. Martinez. And he induces a fly ball to Robert. And that should be the first out of the inning. And it is. Devers is up. And Devers hits the ball at Madrigal and he makes the play. There's two down. And Dahl back at the plate. But he loses Dahlbeck, so Dahlbeck draws a walk with two down and Chavis up at the plate. And Michael Chavis hit the ball at Madrigal, and that'll be the final out of the inning for Boston. They don't get any runs, and we go to the top of the seventh. The White Sox still sporting the good 6-1 to one lead. And it looks like Mendick might have gotten a hold of this. It might be over. It looks like it's going to be over the monster for a home run. And it is. The Madrigal's up. Madrigal's hitting a fly ball to Martinez and right. Let's see if they can get past Martinez. And he, it does. Martinez bobbles it and drops it and uh, allows Madrigal to get on base. That brings up Moncada, but Moncada looks like Martinez is under this one. He's going to make the play, so there's one down. Abreu up. And Abreu hits it right back up the middle for a single. Jimenez is up at the plate. And they bring in Brasier to pitch to Jimenez. And he pops out two Bogarts at shortstop. There's two down for the White Sox, but they have two runners on. And Encarnacion up. And Encarnacion, that is the third, third three-run home run for the White Sox in this game. This one, however, by Edwin Encarnacion, with um, the other two not being by him. I forget now off the top of my head who, that, who those other two were by, but... That is the third one of the game. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall is out. So we head to the bottom of the seventh after that seventh inning stretch with uh, Hewer still out on the mound. Pitching to Vasquez and the White Sox now with a 10 to 1 lead. And that's a deep fly ball by Vasquez. And, but it's an out. Mazzara makes the play at the wall and Verdugo is up. And Verdugo grounds out to Mendick. 
And that brings up a raw is. And he hits the ground ball to Moncada. And Moncada makes the play. Lewis Robert is up. He is hitting 167 on the year. Very uh, slow start for him. And it continues to be a slow start as he grounds out to the second baseman. Mazar is up. And Mazara gets a hold of one. Hits it over Bradley's head, it looks like. Not going to be far enough for a home run, but it could be a double off the wall. And that's exactly what it is. And Mendig is up with a man at second and one down. And he hits a single right up the middle. And that's going to have runners at the corners for the White Sox with Madrigal up. And they're going to, they go to the bullpen, they bring in Robert Stock. And Robert Stock hits the ground ball to first base. They tried to turn a double play, but they weren't able to. So another run comes in for the White Sox. They now lead 11 to 1. And Moncada is up at the plate. And that ball gets past Vasquez. And Madrigal moves to second on it. And Moncada strikes out. So the White Sox do, though, get another run. And uh, they are going to take Hewer out of the... Uh, it looks like Zolke's going to make a chain, a pitching change. So Matt Foster is on the pitch for the White Sox, who have a 10-run lead. And the pitch to Jackie Bradley Jr. is going to be a ground ball out, or a line out to uh, Madrigal. Bogarts is up. Bogarts gets a hold of one, but that should be handled by Robert. And it is. And that's two down, and up steps J.D. Martinez. And another fly ball to Robert. He should be able to handle that, and he is. And that is the inning for the Red Sox. We go to the top of the ninth, Chicago up. Abreu facing Robert Stock. And he hits it back up the middle for a single. Jimenez is up. Jimenez is the guy who had the other two three-run homers. So it's two three-run homers by Jimenez and one by Encarnacion. And Jimenez, let's see if he can do it again. No, this time he got fooled and he struck out. So he is... Uh, two for five on the day. And here's Encarnacion. And Encarnacion draws a walk. He's doing quite well this year. Now, talking about men who are not doing quite well for the White Sox, you've got yes, Monty Grandal up hitting 077. And that's going to get past Vasquez. And uh, so now runners move up to second and third. One out, Grandal up. And he loses Grand Dahl, so now the bases are full with Robert up at the plate. Robert hitting 160. Looks like the Red Sox are going to the bullpen, and they are. They bring in Austin Bryce. And Lewis Robert gets a hold of one. And no, it's at the wall, and it's caught by Verdugo. But the run does come in from third, and the White Sox take a 12-1 to lead. And that brings up Mazzara, who grounds out to Dahlbeck. So, Matt Foster pitching to Devers. Matt Foster with a three earned run average on the year. Now down to 270. As he pitches to Dahlbeck and strikes Dahlbeck out. And that brings up Michael Chavis, their last hope. And he strikes out. Great inning for Matt Foster and a very good game for the, the uh, White Sox. As we go and get the uh, box score, this should make uh, Zolke very happy, although I'm sure he doesn't like all the injuries that the team is amassing. 
but they do go to three and six, and they are starting to show signs of life. Detweiler really helping the team out, getting the win, pitching four and a third, allowing only three hits and one run that wasn't earned, and striking out five. And so we will take you to manager Bob Zolke's post-game uh, press conference. Well, I uh, have to say I'm happy with that result. Um, I'm not taking any questions today, but uh, I think the uh, play on the field spoke for itself. We had three separate three run home runs, um, two of those by Eloy. So I, uh, again, uh, it, it's, it's a big win. I wanna build on this, go forward, and hopefully we can go forward and uh, build on it and uh, have a, a better season in the coming, you know, coming games and series. Um, I realize we're still under 500, still don't have a very good record, but at least this looks like a harbinger of uh, good things to come, and um, maybe we can, uh, you know, get some momentum, build up a few wins, get back into this thing, and, uh, and, and soon be at the top of the division. But uh, the first the first step when you're under 500 is you got to get to 500. Then you have to consider from going from there, leapfrogging teams ahead of you and eventually getting to the uh, division title, the, or the division lead at least. And hopefully in the end, the division title. Uh, but I don't think to this point we've played overall well enough to show that that's going to be possible. Um, so we need to improve on defense. We need to improve in pitching and we need to improve offensively in the lineup. Although this game does show that maybe the offense is starting to come uh, out of its uh, hibernation. And, uh, you know, possibly there are good things on the horizon. Um, I will uh, defer questions and uh, we'll, we'll have regular, you know, regular question and answer session in, uh, you know, in the coming games. But uh, that is all I got to say. And, uh, you know, big win for the Sox today.